I can't imagine being an adult and actually still believing in the whole Satan thing. Thinking that certain symbols are satanic and evil. That certain numbers are evil. Thinking that certain makeup styles are evil. Satanic. Thinking that some people who don't even do horrible things are evil. I don't know, it's kind of laughable. It's kind of funny how so many alternative news channels on YouTube claim to be the real news that usually have real or true in the name. And they often mention the word satanic in regards to a number of issues. And they're usually filled with a bunch of unprovable conspiracy theories. Sometimes conspiracies about Jewish people. Look out, it's the real news. Don't you want to know the real scoop? It's real, after all. It's the truth. It's true news. It's righteous. If you're a real Christian, you'll believe because we say the truth. Recently, True News, another one of these Christian conspiracy channels, was kicked off of YouTube for spewing anti-Jewish conspiracy theories. People like Vincent James of Red Elephants and many others jumped to their defense, making dubious claims that, oh no, True News was kicked off just because they're Christian, claiming that there's a big conspiracy against Christians, that Christians are being silenced just for being Christian. These people jumping to True News's defense aren't doing Christianity any favors. They're also not doing conservatives any favors. And when you jump up to defend anti-Semitic hate speech, you're putting yourselves in the crosshairs. And you're inadvertently associating Christianity and conservatism with hate speech. I get it. You're for free speech no matter what. But you're being disingenuous when you go around claiming that these channels have been taken down just for being Christian or conservative. One thing that a lot of these people are probably correct in is that a lot of these channels that ADL is considering uh, anti-Semitic or that they're pushing uh, white nationalist uh, talking points are probably going to be removed from YouTube eventually. Yeah, you all are probably right about that. I'll leave a link in the description bar to an ADL article that lists a lot of these channels. If you look into each of these channels, you'll find that they all at some point either push forth anti-Jewish conspiracies or they promote white nationalist talking points. As I've said before, that kind of content is no longer going to be considered acceptable on YouTube. Again, if you want to see that kind of content, there are plenty of places you can go. BitChute, Bright Eon, Band.tv, 3Speak, and a handful of others. And no, that kind of content is not going to be featured on mainstream websites and social media. And yes, that's by design. Let me be clear about something, too. I completely draw the line at payment processing sites. I don't think it's right at all for payment processing sites to ban people for their opinions. These alternative video sharing sites shouldn't have to rely on cryptocurrency. It's messed up. And it's even worse when banks... Banks will deny people service over their beliefs. It's not right. It's completely unacceptable. But, you know, on places like here on YouTube, that's not what people are mainly complaining about. I think it's strange. <laughs>